All right, guys, shop update and some new stickers. And uh, if you want to support the channel, check the uh, affiliate links in the description. All right, guys, we've been doing a bunch of painting. And uh, let me just kind of show you some of the parts. Here's the, uh, this is the part that sits uh, on the back side of the saddle. And this rides on the bottom of the ways. And that's what keeps the, the saddle from, you know, lifting away from the ways. Got that all cleaned up and painted. Here's the top of the uh, steady rest. That sure looks a lot better, don't it? Anyway, here's our follower. Got that cleaned up pretty good. All put together. Got these screws moving. I think I got it. It's in there tight. It might be a little bit tight yet. Here's some guards. These go on the gears. It's that way. One there, there's another one here. Oh, well, let me turn it here a little bit. Here's the banjo, and that's the bearing that holds the uh, lead screw. These are the locks for the, or the uh, clamp blocks for the headstock. And I gotta get some oil on these, they're starting to rust, but let's see if I can get some Tom Lipton style points. I painted the inside of my, uh, my fingers for the steady. Uh, I painted the, uh, Try to get some more style points here. I painted the uh, recesses where the uh, numbers were and then I highlighted the numbers and I found some, uh, my favorite color nail polish at the store. It was like, I don't know, $2 maybe. And then I just used a Q-tip and dab it in there and kind of, you almost got to kind of dry it and just barely touch it. You might have to go over it a couple times to get the numbers to, you know, brighten up enough. It's pretty tough to do. This casting isn't super clean that one came out pretty good and that one's all right the larger numbers seem to work pretty good there's a few of them though this one here was kind of a blurry a blurry casting so the numbers aren't very clear but better than nothing its mate came out looking pretty decent although that's of course the one that's missing some teeth and of course the rust is coming back but I didn't want to put any oil on this before I got the paint on there, so we'll have to clean that up probably with a Dremel and a little tiny wire wheel or something. Anyway, 54, number 60 looks really good. I guess that's easy to get in there and paint that. Swivel this around over this way. Here's the, uh, the bottom half of the steady rest. And Dave, you'll be happy. I left all the original brakes and repairs in it. Uh, but it's wet right now. This I painted this again the second coat this afternoon So we don't want to touch that Anyway, let's see what uh, let's see what came in the mail today All right, well for the big reveal here we got uh, Some stickers finally arrived from uh, way up north twin brothers up in Canada Pierre and uh, and Philippe they uh, they sent me some stickers and I I don't know if uh, Pierre is compensating here or just getting top billing, but uh, his <laughs> his sticker is, I don't know, a third bigger than Pierre's or uh, <laughs> than Phil's. Anyway, let's stick them up here real quick. All right, well here's Pierre's sticker. Boy, that is a monster uh, face mill you've got there too, Pierre. Hate to run afoul of that. I like that sticker, nice and nice and glossy. If any oil should happen to get up there, it should come off pretty easy. And there's Philippe, and uh, I believe that's his Graziano lathe, which is quite a beast. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Did he ever finish his tapering attachment? I think I might have missed some videos or something there. I remember he was working on that for quite a while. Let's see. We'll start another row over on this side, I guess. And I gotta harass Bob Millens a little bit. He, uh, I asked him for a sticker a little while back, and still hasn't arrived. But uh, you know, he's <laughs> he's certainly too busy to be worrying too much about that. But uh, all in good fun, Bob. I'm not really harassing. Right. If you guys enjoy old machinery and seeing how to get it fixed. 
why don't you go ahead and subscribe click on the old horizontal mill over here and uh, check the videos that are coming up here below